Hello, hello, Tatum here. Welcome back. Today's workout's gonna be 50 minutes long, total body strength and conditioning. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know when the next workout comes up. Thank you and let's get to it. All right, let's get started. You're gonna need quite a bit of dumbbells today. We're gonna work some weight if you have the dumbbells there at home to really push. So uh, take a chance on yourself today with some weighted strength. We are going to start um, with the back of our body and move to the front of the body. And we'll, we will be working at 45 seconds on the first two exercises that we do. And then we're gonna add on to that. So we're gonna make it a compound set into a tri-set by the third round. All right, so we're gonna be spending a little bit more time with those muscles towards the end. All right, let's get started. I won't talk about it too much, just follow my lead. Let's go with a warm up. We need this warm up today because we are gonna start with some deadlifting. Um, we may even stop here just to do a little glute activation and things to get going there. All right, so try to remember that as we warm up here today. Just do crossovers, touching your toes. Hope you are having a good day. If it's the morning for you, good morning. If it's later in the day, good afternoon or evening, whatever time it is, I hope that this changes your day. Right here, <laughs> this hour, it's almost an hour. All right, we're gonna move quite a bit. Good, let's touch the floor. Reach back, just a little back bend. Good, right here. Warm up. Get that blood flowing, a little bit of a stretch. All right, we're gonna drop that bottom down here. We're gonna touch our toes, drop it. Raise it up, drop it, arms out in front to stand. Good, here we go. Down, up, down to stand. Nice work, here we go. Down, up, down to stand. All right, down, up, down to stand. Give me 10 more seconds of this. Up, down, stand one more. Down, up, down to stand. Good, let's do some inchworms out. We're gonna do a little plank. Rotation here, T-plank, here we go. Walk it out, look up towards that ceiling, really try to open up, turn to the other side. Good, let's walk it all the way back in. I'm gonna come up this time, all the way to the top. Feels good, stretch it out. Come down, reach, and reach. Good, and walk it in to stand. Good, and down, last one, reach and reach, come on up, good, back down, let's come down to our knees, let's bring that right leg out straight and let's just lift, toe down a bit, let's squeeze, let's spend a few seconds here, getting those glutes going before we do this deadlift, all right, nice work, keep moving, three, two, and one, let's come up behind two, right here, try not to really Arch your back here, stay neutral. Push that foot up towards the ceiling and squeeze. Squeeze that glue. Nice. Good, let's do the other side, same way. Out and fly, here we go. Lift. You got it. Should be feeling Oh, that butt on fire, oh my. All right, let's come back. And right here, little donkey kick, squeeze. Neutral back. We don't have to go too high. I like to bring my knee up just level with my butt. Squeeze. Good, a couple more. Three, two, and one. Good, let's go into some jumping jacks. Let's start bringing that heart rate up, get the blood moving. Good. So for today, I did mention a lot of weights. If you have lighter weights, some of this can be done with body weight. We can kind of modify. I'm working a lot of strength today. At the end, I have a bit of a finisher for some of you endurance people <laughs> who love that kind of stuff. We'll get there. You can always opt out at that time. Again, this is a longer one today. Let's do butt kicks up behind. Reach those heels to your bottom. Pull them up. 
Good. Keep it coming. We're gonna be going right into this workout. First one's gonna be our deadlift, all right? I'm using a dumbbell here, a heavier dumbbell. If you have a kettlebell, that works nicely too. Let's jump it out, jump rope. Get the shoulders moving. Just a few seconds here, I wanna get us set up. You also need paper plates or furniture sliders if you can, all right? If you can, we need those today. There we go. All right, we need to go ahead and get ready. We have just 15 seconds. Nice and warm, revved up. We're gonna grab that heavier weight for the deadlift, okay? We're gonna do a deadlift and then we're gonna do a dumbbell bent over row. So have those weights ready. Three, two, and one. Here we go, grab that weight. Just a nice deadlift. Bottom back, shoulders away from your ears. The bottom stays above the knees. And I just pretend I wanna push it back and touch a wall behind me, okay? So rather than drop it to the ground, I'm pushing it back to a wall. 23 seconds here. Let's move through this. We're gonna have a few seconds to transition into our bent over row, dumbbell bent over row. 10 seconds here. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Good work. Set that aside. We will come back to it very quickly. We're gonna be moving through this. We're just changing between the deadlift to the row. Bent over row now. Here we go. In three, two, and one. Bend over, make a little tabletop, pull in. There you go. I'm going a little bit wide. I normally go with my palms in. I did that yesterday. I'm gonna go wide today. 35 seconds here. Good. Nice and controlled. Now, if you struggle with your lower back, go ahead and do a supported single arm row and change off there. 14 seconds. You got it. 10. Five. Four, three, two, and one. All right, nice work. 20 seconds of rest. Don't put those weights too far. We're going back to this uh, goblet, or sorry, deadlift, but we're gonna do an alternating reverse lunge. So you may wanna use the same weights that you use for your row or some sort of, maybe it's just body weight, okay? So we're adding on to this uh, deadlift with a lunge. Here we go. Just 30 seconds though now that we're adding on. Okay, good, right here. Check your form. Look at yourself in a mirror on your screen. Flat back. If you're still learning form, take that weight very light. First, conquer the form, then move on to adding weights. Three, two, and one, good job. All right, reverse lunges. I want you to push, hinge back a little bit, push back with those hips on this reverse lunge. In three, two, and one. Here we go. Here we go. Reverse. And then we're into our bent over row after this. And we're gonna add to it with a little glute bridge pullover, okay, on the floor. Good. 10 seconds, you're doing great. Alternating this. Reverse lunge, hips are back just a bit so we can set those glutes and hamstrings on fire. And that's time, 20 seconds of rest. So, bent over row, grab some lighter weights, five, eight, tens, I don't know, you might be at more, we're gonna lay down on our back and do our pullover, okay? So have a little set of lighter weights, you can follow my lead here. Bent over row for 30 seconds. Here we go, row, good. And again, if your back is pulling, come here, row, roll it over and just alternate back and forth your row if you have something to support yourself on, okay? Here we go, eight seconds. Three, two, and one, good. All right, we're laying down. Just eight seconds here. 
then come down here pull this weight over I'm gonna glute bridge in here too okay you don't have to you can leave your hips down we're pulling that weight over come back to the floor up over that chest good work everything is 30 seconds from now on we have one more round this is gonna go fairly quickly today you'll be surprised I say that a lot <laughs> Maybe because I'm in the moment. <sighs> this goes real quick and you're thinking, I don't think so. All right, nice work, rest. All right, back to deadlift. All right, we're gonna do our reverse lunge and we're gonna add on some hamstring curls using your paper plates. If you don't have that, you'll just do a glute bridge for me, okay? But have that stuff ready. We're gonna get ready here with our deadlift in three, two, and one. Here we go, lift. 30 seconds here. Squeeze those glutes as you come to stand. Activate, good. Make sure those hips come up, you're standing tall. We don't need to arch back, but we do wanna push all the way through. We don't wanna stop short. We wanna push so that our hips are fully extended, okay? Good. Seven seconds. You got it. Three, two, and one, nice work. All right, these are reverse lunges. All right, grab your weights. Body weight is fine here. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Step it back. Push those hips back just a bit. Put that focus off the front of the leg into those glutes and hamstrings. Yay. Feeling this here again. We're going to find our glider discs after this or paper plates. And we'll go into some curls. I also like to use a big physio stability ball for those curls if you have one. Three, two, and one. Good job. Here we go. Third round. Come down. Pull these in. You can do one at a time if you need to, okay? Lift those hips. Pull in. All right. Right here. You can do one at a time if that's easier for now, okay? These are tough. You do your best. Good, 15 seconds. And then we're into our back. We're at that bit over row again. 10. Good work. This is, this is good. Just do singles if you need to. Three, two, and one. Whew. All right, it gave us a little extra rest so we can get ready for the next set. We're gonna do our bent over rows. We're gonna do those pullovers laying down and we're at a back press from our back. So when we're laying down with those pullovers, we'll stay right there, and we'll do some back presses into our elbows, okay? All right, we have 10 seconds here. Grab a sip of water if you want it. Almost done, at least with this side, right? With this back side. Here we go, bend over. 30 seconds here. Nice, good row. Flat back. Get down, if you raise too high and you start to lift, look, I go into those shoulders. Get down here, squeeze those shoulder blades back. Focus on your back. You need to get bent over, push your bottom back. Eight seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, give me a couple claps. All right, we're coming down. Whew. Bridge or no bridge, we're pulling over. Here we go, I'm gonna lift my hips and keep them up just to work my backside a little bit more. I want you to pull over with control. Don't go too heavy on this. Know your limits here. Pull, think about those lats. Pull into them, squeeze those lats as you come up over. There we go. Three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, we're gonna lay down here on the floor. Look, give me some rest here, a little break on the floor. All you're gonna do is dig those elbows in, push into them for a little back press, okay? 30 seconds here, push and push, squeeze. Those shoulder blades are coming in together, folding in, push. And down, good. Nice work. You got it. 
About to change all of our exercises and go into the front of our body. Three, two, and one. Good work. All right, next set. We're gonna go goblet squats. Find that weight that you can hold here at your chest and still brace. All right? And we're gonna go into a chest press from the floor. If you have a bench or a ball that you wanna do that from, great, use it. I almost got mine out today, but I decided to stay with the floor. Um, you're gonna need weights for lunges also. We're gonna be doing some push-ups. I have also an, a chair for incline tricep push-ups. You can do them from the floor, but we're already doing uh, push-ups from the floor. I wanted to get an incline a little bit and bring those arms and elbows in. So if you have something like the back of a couch, or um, a chair, something solid, you can do it from there. All right, we're up. Find your weight for that goblet squat. Bring it up close to your chest. 45 seconds here, squatting. All right. Just make sure that the weight that you choose here, one, is pressed against your chest, really close here, and that it's a weight that you can brace your core through, okay? If you feel that you can't brace, that, the, that you're too tired there to do that, Find a lighter weight, or bring your dumbbells down to the side. Okay, two dumbbells to the side. Okay, 15 seconds here. We're gonna lay down. We're going right into a dumbbell chest press from the floor. All right. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good work. 15 seconds here. I'm gonna move some weights out of the way as I prepare for my chest press. Find that weight on your back or on a bench. Three, two, and one. We're gonna go palms out here and press. Good. With control. Nice work. Bring those hands up over those shoulders, back down to the side here. You got it. Nice work. We're just really focusing on the strength, moving through, adding exercises to work the same muscle groups. We will bring your heart rate up towards the end. We'll do a little blast if you wanna get that heart rate up. If it's not there already. All right, five seconds. Three, two, and one. Good work. Leave those weights close by. We will be back several times, a couple other times. All right, goblets are next with a forward lunge. Okay, alternating forward lunge. So have those weights close by. All right, goblets first in five seconds. Find that weight, just 30 seconds since we're adding on. Here we go. Good, you got it. Feet are about shoulder width apart. Toes are slightly flared, not much. Just at the tip of the toe, make sure that you feel weight in the balls of your feet and the heels of your feet. All right, 12 seconds here, 10. Let's crank out a few more. I'm moving a little slower with this weight. Try to pick up my pace with control. Nice work. Put that weight down. Here we go. Alternating forward lunges. Three, two, and one. Step it forward. All right, good, 30 seconds here. Try to get a 90 degree bend. Try to come all the way down to the floor. If your knees can do that, if they're okay to do that, try to get all the way down. If you're not there yet, I want you to practice getting a good range out of your lunge. And that will come with strength. Okay, that will come in time, but keep working at it. Don't add weight too soon. Three, two, and one, good. All right. We're back to the floor for that chest press. Then we're gonna add hand release push up after, okay? A lot of chest there. Grab your weights, we have 10 seconds. Chest press right into a push up. All right, here we go. 30 seconds of presses. Three, two, and one, here we go. And push, good work. Whew. Nice job. You got it. If anybody needs help with figuring out what they should be doing during the week, let me know. Comment, message. I have a group on Facebook we can help you with too, okay? I'd love to help. 
Let's go over to a hand release push up all the way down. This can be from your knees or your toes and push through 30 seconds here. Get as many in as you can. Now, if you're advanced on these push ups, you want to make sure you're not pushing off of those thighs. So you need to squeeze your butt, squeeze, squeeze your glutes and lift those hips just a bit. Enough to put a, a bar underneath and make sure that you're just pushing from that chest. We have 10 seconds and we're back to those goblets. You're doing great. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Two claps. All right, here we go. Goblets, alternating forward lunge. We're gonna burn our quads up a little bit in core with some uh, paper plate or gliding disc mountain climbers, which are my favorite. I use them a lot to get that feeling on my bike that I have. All right, here we go. Goblets, 30 seconds. It's our last round already. How quickly that goes. Good. Towards the end, we'll be counting through our finisher a little bit, revving up the heart rate. If you're there today, I want you to join me on this finisher. It's a little icing on the cake. Five, four, did I say cake? Three, this is a fitness channel, Tatum. All right, there we go. I didn't mean to do that. All right, hey, we're human. All right, forward lunge. Three, two, and one, alternating. Step it forward, push back, good. Right here, good job. Try to reach that knee to the floor. Try to get a good range if you're there. We got it. 10 seconds, that's all we have. We're moving into those mountain climbers. If you don't have the paper plates, just do mountain climbers. Nice work. Here we go. 30 seconds, run it out on here. You'll feel it. Squeeze those quads. Here we go. Slide. You got it. Pull in, pull those knees up. Bottom should be level with the floor. Shoulders over wrists. 15 seconds, halfway. Last one here. Good work. Five seconds. Keep it up. Three. Two and one. All right. <laughs> Find the towel, grab a sip of water. Chest press. Chest press, push ups, and then tricep push ups, okay? Chest press. I gotta find my weights. I have a mess going on over here. I love weights, you'll find. <laughs> uh, here we go. And press. If there's anyone out there that would like to see barbell stuff, I have a squat rack here, I have TRX. I have a lot of different equipment, sand bells, dead balls, anything. We can have some fun. I can put up some different workouts for those who have in-home gyms or just want something for the gym. Three, that might pop up every once in a while. Two and one, here we go, nice work. Push-ups, hand release. Make it happen from your knees or your toes. Here we go, all the way down, all the way up. 30 seconds, doing what you can here, okay? And again, if you can do a full push-up, make sure those hips are not sagging on the floor when you push up, all chest here, okay? No legs, no hips to bounce off of, all right? 10 seconds. If you're not there, you might be using them a little bit, that's okay, you'll get there. All right, five, four, three, two, and one, good. All right, tricep push up, last one today. Going right in here, hands are shoulder width, elbows tucked in, at an incline. Here we go, pushing out. We're gonna get those bat wings or back of our arms, right? Here we go, and push. To feel this, those elbows have to be tucked in, all right? You can do this from the floor as well. I took it to an incline because it is tough. If you're at the floor, you might be on your toes, but know that kneeling makes it a little easier to isolate those triceps on this push. Three, two, and one. All right, we are there. 
I can't believe how quick that went. It makes me want to do it again. Ha, kidding. All right, so on this next part, and you can use a light weight. If you've not done a snatch overhead, keep it light. Your heart rate will bump up. We're just going to get up the heart rate here at the end. All right, I'm going to try to keep track here because my, my clock is just counting down. Sometimes I go into a zone. <laughs> we have 18 seconds. We're going to snatch this weight overhead. Remember, it's like a zipper with that elbow out high here and fling it like you want to just shoot it up into the sky and your bottom goes back not down here into the squat but back like a deadlift and then shoot it up fling it up if it's the first time you're doing this keep it light just work on form here we go all right so we're gonna do two we're gonna do one on our right one on our left and then we're gonna run it out actually let's take it a little longer we're gonna do two right two left all right it might take you a little longer here we go two on the right Shoot it up, one. Sometimes I do it where I alternate, two. Good, left side, same thing. Zip it up, make sure that elbow is high, out that the weight is close to your body, all right? That's two on each side. We don't wanna lift it out here in front. Keep it close, because if it's heavy, that's gonna be a problem. All right, so we have a minute here. We're gonna jack, do jumping jacks for about 30 seconds. And then we're gonna change it to high knees. We're gonna run in place. Keep the heart rate high. Then we're going to four of these each side. I don't know, maybe we should make it five. This could be rough. I'm gonna push you a little bit. So here where I'm doing two on these snatches each side, you can do one and one for two, okay? Here we go, run it in place. 30 seconds here. Let's move. If you're in a garage like me and you wanna run up and down your driveway, bring it back in, go for it. The thought has crossed my mind. 10 more seconds. Good, pump those arms, move those feet. Five, four, three, two, and one, good. Now, typically a snatch is meant to be with really heavy weight, Working power and strength. If you're tired, let's just keep the heart rate up with this. Don't focus on that, don't get hurt, okay? Because our core is gonna tire out. All right, we have four on each side, all right? Four overhead, here we go. Four. We're gonna go four on each side. Three, two, and one, good. Here we go, left side, four. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Let's do jumping jacks. Here we go. Where's the move? We're gonna go six, eight, up to 10, back down. Oh yeah, it is going to get tougher. You can get to 10 and then opt out at that point if you want. Try to stick with us till then and then see how you feel. It's a Saturday morning, posting this on a Saturday morning. So I'm thinking we have some time, right? Most of us maybe don't have work or get to work later. So we're just gonna stay here a little longer and power through a long one the best that we can. All right, we're running. Take those knees up, pump those arms. Nice work. Oh, I hope I don't lose count on these. We did four, we're moving up to six on this next one. 10 more seconds, good work. Keep it up, we're moving. If you wanna march in place, march in place. Three, two, and one, good work. All right, grab a weight. Here we go, six each side. If you wanna just do three each side for a total of six, that's fine. All right, here we go. And up, one, two, Three, four, five, six, nice work. Other side, and one. Keep that weight close to the body. Two, elbow out and high. Three, bottom back. Four, five, six. Hey, nice work. Let's keep moving. Low jacks or high jacks here? 
Nice work. A little bit of endurance here today. You can do it. Pushing ourselves a little further. Woo. Good job. Ten more. Actually, five more seconds. We'll go into that run. Three, two, and one. Good. Run it out. Fast feet. Pump your arms. Great work. We're on to eight here on these snatches, okay? Three, two, and one. All right, nice work. Here we go. Eight each side or four each side for a total of eight. Here we go. And up, one, two, Three, you do not have to touch the ground with this. If form is tough, just go from your knees, okay? Five, six, seven, and eight. Nice work, other side. Rest if you're just doing eight total for each side. One, meet us back for the jumping jacks here. Three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. Good work. Ooh, we're at the top of our hill after this. Jumping jacks. And again, everyone's at a different place today. Feel free to get to 10 and say, hey, that was a good day for me, okay? Even on this workout, Instead of doing the tricep that we did when we went into our third round, you could stop with two rounds, okay? You can do anything. Check in, try it out, do what you can. See where you go, revisit it later. See if you can go further. All right, run. Good work, pump those arms. Woo hoo. Doing great. Don't forget to move those arms like you would if you were running. Lift those knees. On tired legs, this is tough. We blasted them with some strength. If you're a triathlete or a runner, this is a great push for you. If you're just looking to better your health and get in shape, push yourself past the plateau. Again, this is a great way to do it. Three, two, and one. Good work. 10 each side or five each side. Again, you can hang do it from here from the knee instead okay if you have trouble with that form sometimes it's hard to keep that back flat going all the way down two three four five six seven eight nine brace that core ten good other side. This is the time to check. Are you still able to brace? Three, has your core tired out? If so, we need to drop that weight to a point where we feel like we can still use the right muscles or just go ahead and stop here. Hey, two more. We're at the top of the, the mountain, not a hill, the mountain, all right? Nice work. Jumping jacks. Maintaining a high heart rate here. All right, good work. You're doing it. Thanks for joining me today. Really appreciate it. 15 seconds of jacks. Now we're running in place. 10, bring those arms all the way up. Give it a clap. Nice work. Three, two, and one. Let's run right in place. Lift those knees. Pump those arms. If you want to run in circles, back and forth to move. Feel free. Instead of staying in place, sometimes that can feel a little bit better. 
10 seconds. Seven, five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. All right, that's great. We made it to the top. We're headed back down. All right, eight on each side. Make adjustments with your weight if you need it now. Here we go. Eight, I'm gonna count down. Seven, six, and you can do four and four. Five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, love it. All right, other side, eight. Unless you're doing four. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right. Jumping jacks, here we go. High or low, we're moving. These have done so great. We're so close. We have six, four, and two reps here. We get to call it a day. 15 seconds here with the jumpy jacks. Moving into a run. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. You can move if you want back and forth in circles. I don't know what kind of space you have there. If you're a runner, training for something coming up, let's try to push this run. Let's pump those arms a little faster. Let's pretend we're at that finish line. Or we're close, we're a mile out, two miles. We're heading in for a strong finish. We're about to PR. Three, two, and one, good. Six and six, or three and three. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, one more, and six. Good, check your form. Elbow out, elbow high, bottom back. One, weight right over that shoulder. Two, weight close to the body. Three, four, two more, five, and six. Way to go. Here we go, Jeffy Jacks. You're doing great. I hope you're enjoying this today. I want you to eat something, protein and carb right after this. Nice, balanced meal. Replenish. Keep moving. We'll go into our run. We have four and two. Four and two. I keep repeating it, that's how I stay on track. <laughs> Like I know Tatum, I know what we have. Sometimes I get lost in the workout. Here we go, run it out. Pick those knees up, pump those arms. You can march it out here too, or step it out. I'm just here to guide you. Let you just wake up and not think, or come into this workout, just follow it. Have some accountability, have something to do. And time, all right, four and four, or two and two, this is going by very quick. Here we go. And four, I'm gonna count down. Three, good, two, and one. Nice work, other side. Four, three, two, and one, nice work. Here we go, jumping jacks. Can't believe we're here. We have a minute here. Two snatches, two each side or one each side, and one more minute. You've done it. Nice little five minute cool down. So proud of you. We haven't talked about, which I think we did the other day, but do it with passion. My little quote up there, a little saying. All right, so even if you're not in the best of mood, let's run in place. Even if you're having a bad day, 
Get into this workout, anything in your life. Do it with passion, you'll feel so much better. Give it your all. Again, a 10 is a 10 for the day. It's not always the same, okay? I didn't, it usually sleep is my issue. <laughs> all right, maybe it was something we ate, maybe. I don't know, we're busy people, right? You do the best you can each day. And you show up and that's what you need to do. Stay consistent, good, time. Hey, high fives to you. If you are still here sticking this out. You can do one each side or two each side. Let's make this count. Here we go. One and two. Nice work. Other side. One and two. All right. Give me one more minute of movement. Come on, we can do it. Good work. All the way overhead with those arms. Even if you're tapping it out. Nice and high overhead. Woo. All right, let's run in place. You got it. 30 seconds here. Pump those arms. Let's sprint. This is it. This is our last moment to finish strong. 15 seconds. That's it. Come on, you got it. Dig a little deeper, push a little harder. Seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Nice work, two claps. All right, towel off, get that heart rate in check. Now, I chose to do these at the end, these snatches and this cardio, because I do endurance stuff. <laughs> All right, but for those who are looking for total power and strength gains, like real power. I would do those at the beginning of the workout. All right, when you're not tired, when you push that weight safely. All right, this is just a means of using some muscles together, the full body, getting the heart rate up. But I would do that at the beginning and take all the running out of it, movement, and just focus there and rest, okay? So that's for some of you that are looking for some really power strength. Here I was looking more for endurance cardio and muscle strength, all right? Muscle endurance there at the end. All right, I need to towel off one more time. Woo. All right, let's bring it down. Let's breathe in, overhead, and down. Good, and in, through the nose, and out, through the mouth, good. All right, so we've been trying out some shorter versions of our workouts during the week. I'm gonna have a low impact workout for you uh, for tomorrow, or for the, yeah, tomorrow. So check that out. We need recovery, we need hard and easy. That's all I ask when you look at these workouts. What kind of day did it feel like for you the day before? You wanna check into an easy one, okay? Maybe, maybe even that means going out for a light jog, walk, uh, cycling, bi bicycling, you know, whatever. Just something lighter. All right, don't beat yourself into the ground every single day, but move every day, do something. It can even mean checking in here to move with some lighter weights, okay? Not pushing as hard, but going through those motions. Very good for women over the age of 40. Just saying, you can do, um, or men, okay? As you go, <laughs> you can do some lighter weight, but do something every day, even if it's body weight, all right? So don't forget that too. That's important if you're into that. Maybe you don't really wanna go out and do the jog or the walk. All right, we're coming down. We have a uh, standing calf stretch first. Let's just come here. We're kind of running out of time. I don't want to keep you too late. Stretch back here. Heel down. Lean forward. Nice work. Other side. And stretch. Get that heel down, push into that knee. All right, good work. Let's come down here, drop your bottom. Elbows between knees, push out against those knees. Bring that head up towards the ceiling. Sit tall, feel stretch there. You can rock side to side a bit if you want. Good work. I'm gonna take you through this quick. Please feel free to stick around and do some more stretching, okay? Here we go, cross that leg here, over the top. Pose in the hips. Mine are very tight today, always tight. 
All right, rock it out. Side to side. Just a couple times. Good work. There we go. Let's cross the other side. Hold. Breathe. Feel that stretch. Feel it release. Here we go, rock it out. Good work. All right, let's do a little camel stretch here too. Just open up our hips a bit. You can tuck those toes. If you want, you can just start here with your hands. I like to put them in the small of my back and just lean back slightly here, pushing those hips forward, feeling that stretch. If you want more of a stretch, you're gonna reach back, either with your toes flexed here like I have, or down on the tops of your feet. Oh, good. All right, let's do, a, <laughs> let's do a little twist here, my favorite one. Toe behind left leg, left hand on right knee, okay? So right toe behind the left here, left hand on right knee. Bring that knee across, open up, look out to the side. Get a stretch across the chest. Feel the release in your lower back and your hips. Breathe deep into the belly. Good, let's come back up to the top. Left toe behind right knee. Hand on knee, reach out. Breathe. Nice work, feel that stretch. Breathe into the belly. Let everything release. The long one today, you did awesome. Get out, still get your steps in. All right, I still recommend even if you do a workout for the day, that you are getting out there and moving throughout the day to help out your metabolism, to get things moving, so that you, when you eat, your body is absorbing all those wonderful nutri nutrients. So make sure that you're moving throughout the day. If you have a watch that tells you your steps, go for it, all right? And keep uh, increasing those steps as you get better at fitting it in. All right, thanks for joining me again. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.